So, um, the business as usual model. The only way that I can really understand that is that it's based on a notion that Earth is just a place that we happen to live on. Um, that as humans we're somehow separate from the Earth and independent of the rest of the biosphere. But we know so much more than that. Everything we're learning is, is um, teaching us that um, we're part of a whole planetary system. And um, we're, not in t we're not independent at all. We're just, just one part of this, um, this hugely complex and interdependent planet. And the bottom line is, as other people have said, that humanity can't survive in isolation from the planet. And if we want to do more than survive, if we want to thrive, uh, that will only happen if all the other life forms on the planet are thriving. And so, uh, for me, sustainability is, a ma is about making those connections. I think, I think as individuals, we really need to make a deep connection to who we are on the planet and, and our relationship with the planet and relearn our interdependence with the whole system. And so it was a deep commitment to, these, um, to rebuild these connections that um, led to Earthsong Eco Neighbourhood. And um, Earthsong is a 32-home eco-housing community in Ranui, in Waita what used to be Waitakere City in West Auckland. And um, it had a three-part vision, to be as environmentally sustainable as possible, to be as socially sustainable as possible, and to be a model, so the education um, came in there. So um, I'm just going to run very quickly through the, the physical aspects, the environmental sustainability, because in some ways that, that's the kind of the more straightforward aspect of it, and I want to spend some time talking about the people aspect as well. So Earth Song, the first, the Earth Song was based on um, trying to, to build to the highest standards of environmentally sustainable design and construction that we possibly could, and the very first and one of the most key aspects of that is location. So we chose to remain in the city. We chose to build um, a medium density housing project in, in the suburbs, right next door to the local shops, the local library, medical centre, services, just a short walk down the road to the railway station, you know, public transport past our door. Um, that, that whole kind of interconnected aspect of, of living sustainably in the city was, um, was a really important part. Within Earth Song itself, we've kept the cars at the edge of the site and the rest of the neighbourhood around the houses is pedestrian. And that makes a huge difference to how, how it feels to live there, to our relationships with each other, to our connection, you know, with climate, with each other. So there's a, a common house at the focus of the site, there's clustered dwellings along pathways, pedestrian pathways. And... Um, each person owns a, an individual house and a little patch of garden, but there's a lot of, of common garden as well. Each house has a, a community side and a more private side. The houses themselves, um, they're small, compact houses. We don't need a, a lot of space to live. Um, they're they're self-contained self dwellings, so they all have you know, the usual kitchen, bathroom, bedrooms, um, living areas. Um, they are built of materials that are as sustainable as possible. Every material we used, we went through a whole kind of auditing process about where does it come from, what's the energy content of the material, um, how toxic is it to either people who are builders or, or people living there. That, that whole kind of range of questions that, that you ask. Um, they're all passive solar, so they're, they're oriented towards the sun for, for heating and cooling. They use solar water heaters. Um, and all of those things actually help to connect us with, with our climate. Um, so natural use of, of, of uh, honest use of natural materials, a range of house types to suit different types of people. And we also have shared facilities. So we have a, a, a lot of shared open space and we have a big common house that we share together. So our own houses can be smaller because we also share this big common house which has a big um, dining room, a big kitchen, various community facilities, children's rooms. Um, and in terms of the services, we collect rainwater off the roofs um, and use it back in the houses. We, the overland stormwater system replicates the natural um, water systems. 
goes down to the pond, um, and also a lot of productive landscaping. So we, we grow as, as much of our own food as possible. So there's a lot more I could say about the, the physical aspect, but actually I want to get on to the human aspect because it's every bit as important. So the people systems, much less visible than the buildings and the design, but it's the connections and cooperation between people that is the really change-making aspect of Earthsong. So Earthsong was developed by ordinary people. Um, we've always had a self-select policy. We don't select people. We're all on this planet together. People select themselves. We have a consensus decision-making system, which means that they work, we work together as an as a equal group, a, a group of equals, a, until we find the solutions that we're all willing to go forward with. And so I just want to really emphasise that in a nutshell. It's 32 houses, an innovative um, eco-housing project developed by ordinary people who were willing to, um, to work together, who had a shared vision, and who made all the decisions by consensus. And I think that, you know, it, it works, you know, it really does work. And the key aspects of that that made that work that, um, that I, I think are really important to, to, to take as a learning, we had a clear and inspirational vision statement. So that was right at the beginning. It's kept us inspired all the way through. We all kind of hold it as, as a collective vision. We have very clear communication agreements and dis, a dis, clear decision-making structure. So those things are known and we all hold them very dearly and, um, and we keep working at it. So the social infrastructure that got the project built continues to underpin the neighbourhood today. So we do a lot of cooperation. We have common meals twice a week. We have an organic vegetable co-op, lots of um, working bees working on the gardens together. There's a lot of childcare and car sharing and, and various things like that. There's the consensus decision-making process and uh, we learn how to work together, how to deal with conflicts and differences. And it's those things that, that help us build connection with each other and when you spend time in meetings, you kind of know your neighbours, you care what they think and it's much more, we work a lot harder to, to make it work for all of us. We have a lot of shared resources because, you know, we, we know each other and we can share. We have one lawnmower for 32 houses. Um, we have a workshop, a um, lot of carpooling. And so one of the, the key to living cooperatively, I believe, is that there's a balance of individual and collective. We have both individual home ownership, autonomy, privacy, and we have cooperation collective decision-making and responsibility to the group. The third aspect of our vision is being a model. Um, we're, we've definitely put a lot of effort into educating to having tours through a song and sharing what we've learnt as much as possible. And in conclusion, um, what I've learnt over the, the 15 years or more of, of, um, of, of developing Earthsong is that um, I believe a commitment to living more sustainably comes about through a deep sense of connection and interdependence with each other as humans and with the planet. And sustainability requires us to look beyond ourselves as discrete and independent and acknowledge our independence um, with all other life forms on the planet. Earthsong is one example of what can be done when people work together and, you know, it, it was a big job, it was a hard thing to do, but I believe that it is, it, it is one of the possible answers that will make up a sustainable city. You know, like I think it's really important that we learn how to live together in cities sustainably. And for me, one of the pieces of that puzzle is relocalisation, developing flourishing connected neighbourhoods, and um, collectively that will add up to... to a more sustainable way of, of living in cities. That was a very quick rush through. Thank you very much. Thank you very much